You know, you gotta you gotta rest the weary soul every once in a while with a little bit of a hot tub dip. I know you guys have always wanted to see me in a hot tub. Probably not in VR chat. But this is where we're at. You know, I found a nice remote mountain with a hot tub. So, where did I leave off? You know, we've talked about a lot of stuff in the last little bit. How did I get here? Um, where does this take me and how or what does it mean going forward uh this this just means i'm in a whole new world uh i i have content that we can make um i have a tiktok i'm revived my twitch my twitch is growing exponentially already under two streams we're almost at 100 followers um we're, it's pretty insane to think of where i once was i had trouble gaining traction on Twitch and now it, it, it seems like it's going to be it's going to be something that's just going to snow and snowball itself and it's going to be absolutely amazing in the long run I uh, you, you know it's not every day it's not every day you can take a dip in a in a mountainous spring and uh, have a fun time but where did we leave off really there's a little bit more to the story. There is much more to tell. And I think going forward, there's going to be a ton more to tell of this story of who I am and what I do here on YouTube and just in the world in general at this point. I'm the Phoenix. I'm the proud Canadian Phoenix at this point. I've been Canadian all my life. I will probably stay Canadian all my life. And, you know, I, I will visit I will try to visit everyone else out there. If if money's in the cards and the cards are right and they get dealt to me, maybe maybe uh, it, it's time to go on a little bit of a travel and uh, figure things out and make new friends. And that's all I ask for at this point because I'm just asking for you to stay, become a subscriber, follow me on Twitch. Maybe maybe if you have VR chat, you know become my friend and we can do many more things together talked about in the last one how we had all the hopes and dreams in the world how we had the hope of having a child hoping to have a second one it just didn't work out to have a second one and where we are now you know it took a long time it's taken a very long time to get to this place right now so talking about it you know Years go on, life moves on, and the sunder of the city continues evermore. Till one fateful day a new soul rises, my son is born. And that was what we talked about in that last one, uh, and a couple before that. A small weak flame struggles to breathe, struggles to life, but that of a phoenix born will not extinguish instead of fights to be whole. And I, I'm pretty sure I quoted this in the last one. My son... He was born very, very tiny. He's doing amazingly well. Um, but it took our toll, right? We had months of hospital care. We spent 352 days in hospital. That's that's nothing to write home at. You know, some surgeries. It took three years out of my working life, out of my life in general. And those three years, we struggled. It was bad. It, it, it was not good. But I reached out. I reached out and dug deep and did the YouTube thing. And I said, you know what? We're going to call ourselves the Proud Canadian Phoenix. And that was at the point I didn't even know of this fandom or anything to do with this fandom. And, uh, you know, then we continue on. Um, my soul was deeply hurt. There, I, You know, I still have trauma from from the days in the hospital and that trauma is is deep and it hurts there's a lot of times where i sit there you know going to a hospital now i happen to see a lot of pain and suffering and i just want to sit there and, and try and heal this is why we also in the last four years we've also done extra life um, I have sat there. You guys have supported me immensely with Extra Life. That is coming up November 2nd. We're going to be doing a 25-hour live stream. 24 hours technically, but it's the day of the time change. So it works out to an extra hour that we go. And it's grueling. We will be doing it. I am trying to 
figure out the details right now on how I'm going to do that. And right now I'm thinking we stream for YouTube for a little bit, then we stream on Twitch, and then we go back to YouTube. I think that's how it's going to end up working. Uh, when we go to Twitch, we'll do the, the avatar stuff. When we stay and when we're on YouTube, we'll do some video gaming. I think that is the most decent way to do it. And I'm going to need help. I need incentives. We're, we're going to try and raise as much money as we possibly can to help support the Stollery Hospital because they did so much for us. But when it came with the channel, you know, I, I didn't have anywhere to turn. I had to do something. I had to reach out to the world. I couldn't leave my house. We were housebound. Um, mostly because we had to be here in case something happened with the kid. Yeah, we had home care in our home, but it didn't give a reprieve. We, we couldn't go out to a movie. We couldn't do anything. So my only way to do something in life was to fire up a YouTube channel. And uh, it, I, I got to say, um, there's one particular YouTuber out there that really kind of inspired me to to push that forward and that's the magic historian if anyone knows the magic historian mike hatcher he I, I i was hanging out in his streams and i was seeing what happened and he was down and out he, he he was having a horrible time in life at the same time but it got raised up it got raised up he was funny he was great and just going and doing that daily watching him stream I turned around and went, you know what, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do the same thing. I don't know where it's going to lead me. Maybe I can get some help. Maybe this is a pathway forward. And now look at and look at where we are now. Look at what we've become. We've grown. We have grown exponentially. And I want to grow even more. If you're not subscribed already, hurry up and subscribe. Because you belong here. Everybody belongs here. And things that we're going to do is going to be absolutely amazing but that was the point you know i didn't know what to stream and uh that was where magic the gathering kind of took came forward it was dungeons and dragons younger little brother magic the gathering they just came out with magic the gathering arena i went okay you know what i can play this i can build decks i know how to do this and i got into the beta and i was streaming the beta and i was doing all those things uh, with the account, uh, you know, that's aside, I've walked away from all of that because of the way things have gone with that game, but that's a different sense of it. Um, unknowingly, the, what the future may hold, the struggles just to make ends meet was at the door. Showing resolve and grip, remembering how to scavenge like the raccoon once before, without anything left, we move forward to hold a door open and create something out of nothing. And that's exactly what it was. We had nothing left. There was nothing left. We were using the food bank. <laughs> Nobody, and I, you know, I didn't really share this with you guys, but we were using the food bank. We were done. Uh, we, we, I couldn't buy food. I couldn't go out anywhere. Um, we were, I, I had money in an R R S P, and those three years, that all that money went away. We ended up in. Ah, uh, so much debt that I am glad in the last last year, last year and a half, we were able to actually refinance everything and deal with it. We were deep. We were deep in debt. And it wasn't that we didn't try. We just didn't know what to do anymore. Um, we even went, at one point, we went to the government and said, listen, we, we have nothing. Uh, they're, they're, they're threatening to cut us off. They're threatening to do all these things. We had nothing. We, we had a small emergency check of like $1,000 and that paid a couple bills. That was about it. Um, but no, we, we had no food. We, we literally were using the food bank. We were struggling. And uh, I'm just happy that in the essence of putting myself out there, putting, starting YouTube and doing everything with that, where we are now is absolutely amazing. And I can, this is why I can't thank this community enough. Uh, you guys have, have propped me up when I was at the lowest we were at. And that's part of it. I, I had to reach out and do something. I had to be reborn. I had to relearn everything. And that's 
part of being a phoenix. That's part of the phoenix inside. Um, that fire, it will never extinguish at this point. And I have the, the belly of the beast, the fire in the belly right now, just saying, keep at it. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do, even though maybe, maybe now we're just, just an avatar. We're, we're something more. We're going to definitely be something more. And I, you know, this is where I started this series and said, you know what? I need to continue this. It, it needs to be something. And without everyone else out there watching it, it, it means the world to me be, to finally be able to tell the story of where we were to where I am now. Demon still sits at my back of my head, remembering days of the hospital and its bed. Knowing how close the tiny little flame was almost lost to the eternities of time and space, holding steadfast, this lone wolf reached out for help under the guise of a phoenix. Like the fire, a pack answered the call. The first howl was brief, but was enough to rekindle the flames of the phoenix. And that's, that, that, that's really what this all means to me right now. It really is what it means. If it wasn't for everyone out there, just reaching out and doing everything possible, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be doing all of this. And it's, it means the world to me to be able to continue to do these things. I didn't think um, this series would get me so emotional, but it, it, it really is what it is it's it's been an absolute absolute crazy ordeal to go through everything we've been through fast forward to today where i'm a month out of the convention well we're almost two months out of the convention a month from when i wrote all of this that has learned me to change to refocus and listen to where there is no sadness no joy the feeling doesn't quite understand it's completely a different world yet it is something drawing out that listening remembered people that once were where they help bring about what you see today during the convention there was a a situation that occurred it didn't happen on live stream it happened after one of the live streams one of the nights um yeah, that, it showed me what it was like to have friends again. Um, someone came up to me after the live stream. I was sitting there not knowing what to do. Um, all my batteries were dead. My, my mic was dead. My phone was pretty much dead. So I just started charging it and I just sat there. I sat there looking around and, uh, you know, I, I was playing kind of in my phone. Someone actually approached me and asked me, what are you doing here all by yourself? What's going on? Like, why are you all alone? And I said, well, I just ended a live stream. And uh, I ended up talking to him for over an hour. And then he had friends join. And those friends, they made me remember two friends that I lost um, two years ago now. They really made me remember them. And that, that in itself could this have happened at any other convention could this have happened at any other place i don't think so i i really don't think so um they they started talking of of just random things that same things that my friends would have talked about and when i went home that night i i didn't fall asleep right away i i sat there in the room alone, remembering who they were, remembering my friends that are gone. It's because of things like that. Why I have to tell this story, why I have to tell you all of how things have been. They're not good in that sense. I'm remembering things. I, I, I miss them dearly. And I don't quite know how to handle it anymore. Those that approached me out of the blue made me remember friends I had lost two years ago. How one of them 
from a disease not treated after years of distances unknown. COVID really, really made it impossible for him to see his doctor. He had a lifelong disease. At least I know he he's at rest. Then the other giving in to his demons eight months later. I remember these friends. I remember a time of something more. I remember the endless hours of just speaking about nothing more. In my steadfast ways, I never got to mourn. And now I remember the times long ago. It has brought me a clarity for more. I never intended to go this path. It's not something it seems many will understand. Something is drawing to me. An inner peace seems to have been washed over me. The days of remembering time in the hospital, watching my son struggle to breathe, seems like yesterday. The world has shelter for one soul that has been scarred, for one that was lost, for one that was ha that has not been found. A birthright of sorts, as no one truly understands, but a fire is alive, and the fuel is burning bright, as today I find the phoenix named Cinder Shadow has truly manifested a duality of its old soul. Now I find myself questioning how I move forward. Lost kind of once again, but finding new friends to help guide me. New eternities have granted me my wings, lifting up upon the flame to something more. Feathers of life, feathers granting renewal, and the sight of the phoenix to see a new resolve. The future is bright, and in time, those that know me will know more. This is this is where we're at, and I'm going to leave that here. It's, uh, this is the end of what I've written. But it doesn't mean that's the end of the series because I'm going to tell you so many more things going on. Thank you for everyone that has listened to this series that I have put together. And I hope this under I hope everyone can understand that it's not it was it wasn't a simple I'm going into the furry fandom i'm becoming a furry i've had a complete spirituality i've co had a complete reimagining of what things once were and what things will be for the future and right now the only thing i can say is i'm your proud canadian phoenix cinder shadow and i'm gonna sign off here and all of you need to like and subscribe and share this with the world thank you for watching have yourselves a great day.